Never death row for death. Get to defend yourself in a boxing match. <laughs> oh man, it ain't all about winning. It ain't all about winning. You had a, first of all, I want to say one of the most worst fractures I've seen in a long time. All right, you guys, today's the day. I'm back here with Dr. Calvert and he's about to take out the tube. I'm about to get no surgery. About to go under for surgery. I hate this part. Like, Man, I'm tired of looking at myself like this, so can't wait for it to get healed. Not an issue with all the mucus and blood and everything else that's in there. It's painful right now. Is it painful? Yeah. You feeling it? Yeah. If I had won the fight, I would be calling out Jake Paul, Gib, Deji. Uh, I'm going to take a step back from fighting. Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone Boxing Deji and Fuzi. This means everything to me. I see this as my first fight. I'm in the ring against myself, so this is me versus me this time. I gotta be honest with you, when I look across at the man you're about to fight, it doesn't look like he's here to have fun. It looks like he's here to make a statement. Go in the ring, believe in myself, one step at a time, one punch at a time, and may the best man win. My name is Yusuf Arakat, and my fighting name is Wolf. All right, y'all, April 25th, starting my first ever, like, real full-time training camp with the yes, limited sir. time we got. I'm here with the, can I call you, should I call you the father of? Like, what, 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 do, what do you want to go, what do, what do you? Whatever you want to do, go ahead. You, you throw it out there, the father of. All right, so I saw his son get the most vicious knockout that I've ever seen front row in a fight, and now I'm being trained by the man himself, so. We gonna get that knockout. We gonna get that knockout. So, Deji, we come with you with that same velocity, that same ferociousness, and yeah, I'm in good hands right now. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm not scared of the moment. I'm ready for the moment, and I'm excited for the moment. So, what what is the name of where I'm at? With the Jack Rabbit Boxing. Jack Rabbit Boxing. You are in the rabbit hole. I'm in the rabbit, in the hole. rabbit hole. Can't get out now. And stuck, yeah, baby. We ready. Let's get it. We're going to start with the general black fight. Everything and every little thing you do, it counts. So right now, you jump and roll with your chin up. Yeah. That's no good. You okay. know, you jump and roll like a fight. Chin okay. down. Bend it down a little bit. Right up here. What's interesting That's is he gave me adjustments on my jump rope, but he didn't watch to see if I did it. So that lets me know 
It's not that he doesn't care. Like, I got to take note of what he said, implement it. So when he comes back, he sees that I'm doing what he said. So I like that. Um, my last boxing match was in 2018. Fundamentally, top to bottom, inside, outside, I'm not the same person who I was in 2018. Like that person who stepped into the ring, like even when I rewatch that video, I don't recognize that person. He's not here no more. He's dead and gone. He's long gone. Um, so there's nothing, there's nothing outside of the fact that we both don't quit. Cause even though that guy got his ass whooped, he didn't quit. There's nothing similar between us. Let's go, Daniel. Coach Daniel. We're going to be training you as a team. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. It's me, Coach Daniel, and Coach Gash. Okay. So that's how we do it. Got you. All right, thanks, sir. What? I hate not knowing how to box. Yeah. And look like people saying, like, you so stiff, your form sucks, your shit. Yeah. I don't want that. I want to know how to box. It's like yeah. I get good at everything else. Hey. Last year I wasn't a runner. Now I'm doing marathons and shit. So it's like. You got just working on it. Exactly. Do it. So I know I can. Yeah. I just need to be taught. That's it. Let's go. Down two. Turn it. Good. Huh? You're good. Don't worry about it. It's all over. Okay. So it looks like so. Boom. Right. Lock. The last fight, I don't think I was strong mentally. I think I had a, a big ego and I hid behind the ego. So my ego made me tough. My ego made me like, ah, I'm badass. But I don't really think my mind really believed it. Now more so it's a fundamental mental change where um, I believe I'm the shit. I believe who I am. I believe you know, that I'm going to win this fight. Whereas last time my ego did, but I don't have an ego no more, so it's different. All right, y'all. Y'all haven't seen where we've been at. It's been a couple of weeks since y'all last seen me. I'm here with Coach Ivan. Yes. How you feeling, Coach? How, I'm feeling good. The, how the you fuck? feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay, okay. But I want to know how you feeling in terms of, you know, me representing Jack Rabbit for this fight and my progress. I'm like, feeling good. You, you, so far you did a 180 turn. Uh huh. You know, you came in here not really knowing nothing. Uh huh. We got you down with the basics. You look good on the floor. So the next step is to get you in that ring. Which is today. Today is literally going to be my first day. Not sparring. I don't. We're doing light work. We're doing light work. You're gonna catch a real jab. It's nothing else. You're gonna spar with professional. Well, shit, because I didn't bring the right headgear today. I don't got a mouth guard, and I'm gonna catch a real jab today. Catch so, real jabs. Yeah. You know, I, I had told everybody that I would never get back in the ring again. I mean, my nose got broken so badly, two surgeries. The doctor literally told me, you can't box again. He said, if you do box again and it even gets touched, I won't know how to reconstruct it. So stepping back into the ring was never something I even thought possible. But it's something I've always how wanted. Bad, no matter how bad I look, compared to how it used to be, just with my breathing and confidence is way different. Because I used to know sparring is getting your ass beat. Yeah, yeah. Hard. You learn it, baby. You learn it. Listen, try to hurt him, or I'm going to tell him to hurt you. There's just, there's no other option. I mean, I can't be on my deathbed at, you know, 80, 90 years old looking back and having my only time in the ring being that time. It just, it doesn't work for me. I don't care, like we got one life, we got one nose and I got one opportunity to redeem myself. So this redemption means more to me than anything. So like whatever, what do you think of the first sparring? 
I think you look like shit the first part. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Uh, coach knows it. I said, don't ever say something. Get, oh, no, I said it's the, the other coaches to boost my confidence. Like, I don't oh, no, need that. Oh, no, we definitely ain't going to say that. Yeah. No, you didn't look like shit, but you took direction. You took direction. You got towards the middle rounds. You got out of that, oh, I'm scared type of say. That, that touch and trying to move, touch and trying to move. You did, you did good for your first session, uh -huh. but I want to see that jab working more. You start, you start shelling up. You wasn't working I mean, the jab. That's what I want to talk to Coach Danny about because when I do the when I do the pads, uh -huh. I, it feels strong. I'm like, I never knew I had a jab like this. Uh -huh. Now you put a moving target in front of me, and it feels like because ah, you think it too uh -huh. much. You think it's like he told you start going, aiming lower in the target, aiming for the chest. Uh -huh. Once you start hitting something, then you start getting confident. Mm -hmm. But you got to hit something first. crying because of how fucking bad I want it. There's nothing I want more in life. There's nothing I want more in life. <laughs> Hey, shout out, I'm not BDA for the resubscription. I'm not BDA, Miss you, homie. Girl Sam Beezy, I love your question, so I'm going to answer you. I am feeling very good. I'm feeling grounded. I'm feeling excited. Not excited out of nervousness, like, oh my God. I'm feeling excited. I've done a lot of big things in my career. A lot, a lot. Astronomical things. I've lived so many different lives. What I'm about to embark on as this version of me is single-handedly the biggest thing I've ever undertook in my entire life. Everything I have ever gone through, whether it be YouTube, um, real life, social media, whatever, business, this day that's coming in two months is going to be a culmination of all of that. I am living, breathing, eating, sleeping, shitting for this. Every time I've had the most eyes on me in my career, I fucked up. I fucked up. Whether it be vlogs at my highest when I was doing pranks and I fucked up that way. Whether it be July 15th. Whether it be me on the reality show last year. Every time I've had the most eyes on me in my career, I fucked up. Because I could, I didn't, I, that's when I wasn't myself. This is the one time I will literally have the most eyes on me ever. Ever ever that I've ever had and I have a chance to show the world who the fuck I am. I have a chance to show myself who the fuck I am. I fucking promise you I'm gonna prove that to God. And I don't break my promises. You're literally gonna be watching on that day and when the winner is announced you're gonna have the biggest fucking smile on your face. I promise you that. I promise you that. I have nothing left to say. It's time to show y'all. Show y'all what these nine months of sobriety have meant. By the time the fight happens, 11 months of sobriety. I love y'all and I got y'all. Let the journey begin. At first it was cool. Like we're training every day in Long Beach, but what it was was and I don't even know if they saw this in the dock. Literally every single day riding the motorcycle. And that's not an easy task from LA to Long Beach through traffic riding the motorcycle. But the problem was getting to the gym, rushing that because I knew I had to get home through the traffic. So you're not really committing. You're putting, you, you're convincing yourself that you're putting in work, but you're half-assed in the work. Moving to Long Beach, getting this pad and being a mile away from the gym to be able to work out three times a day, whatever, and cutting off everybody and everything from life and just focusing on this, it's a commitment. Like it shows, I'm showing the universe, I don't wanna cry, I've been crying all day. It's showing the universe, I fucking want this. I fucking want this. Day one, baby. It's the official day one of training camp. We ready. We about to run all the way to the gym, just like Michael B. Jordan and Creed. <laughs> you know, when I first came into the ring, I was comparing myself to the, the greats that are already in the ring today, like here at Jackrabbit. 
I would think that it was their skills, their finesse, their head movement, their boxing IQ. It's being able to discipline yourself to train every single day, to work through the pain, to listen to your coaches, being able to fight back and not quit, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what your opponent throws at you, to not quit and to keep moving forward. You keep getting hit, you keep moving forward. Simple as that. Waking up ready, being in Long Beach. Hey, you, yeah, yo, you, you, you glowing, bro. You see the difference? Yeah. That person coming in every day from LA wasn't me, but L, that drive and everything was draining me. I wasn't, I couldn't commit to this. This, like, I, my soul is here. I'm here. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Day one, baby. Let's get it. This is, this is why you're doing to avoid it. My name is Daniel Velez. I'm one of the coaches here at Jack Rabbit Boxing. Um, he did go from being uh, what, you, what we would consider like a beginner style of a fighter, of a boxer, right? Um, he's transitioning more now into, uh, I would, if we would grade it, it would be more like a, of a novice fighter. You gotta get the mistakes out, okay. out of the way. Okay. Because you're, in a fight you could get hit, boom! And you're gonna be like, oh shit, no, fuck, boom! And you need to get back into position, right? Get back to the fight, okay? It's okay? Ashton, H12 Silv. Now step over, step over, step over. I see the progression from like when he first got here to now. When he first got here, he wasn't able to stand correctly. I mean, he was told he couldn't even shadow box. The minimum thing he couldn't do, he couldn't shadow box. Um, my name is Zoe Getch, assistant coach. We're seeing a whole different person, a, a whole new fighter. Uh, he's definitely starting to feel the sense of urgency uh, with the fight date closing in. So as we get closer to the fight date, it's just gonna pick up and we're gonna see that animal really come out in here. Maintain your composure, guy. Let's go work. Fix it, fix it. Block that with your elbow, guy. That's what happens. Let's go work, fools. Switch. Yes. Let's go on him, on him, on him, yes. on him. Let's go, pick it up, let's go, fools. A video of day one. Show me your boxing stance. He's extremely hard on himself, now, and, and that's one of the biggest things that, I mean, everybody's hard on yourself. You're gonna be the, you're, you're, you're your worst critic, right? Fuzi is probably that to the power of three <laughs> or more, you know? <laughs> but we gotta keep doing it. Let's go, don't worry about it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Settle down, settle down. You're doing it right. I'm seeing uh, my name is Jesse White had trainers in the um, in the gym. His biggest weakness in this situation would be his self. Self-doubt. You felt that one? No? I'm so frustrated, I don't feel it. Dude, you're, you're beating yourself up for no fucking reason. For no reason. You did great. Very hard on myself. Can't give the guy a compliment. <laughs> Just get my ass beat. I need a really no. slow spar. No, no, I'm no. not even talking about Where somebody like yesterday. Yeah. I'm talking about... Yeah. Somebody who's literally just gonna throw and tell me what to do in that throw, so I can practice in slow motion. Yeah, but we we have to we we have you on an accelerated pace. I Everybody know, some else. Some days of just like ten minutes of that yeah. will help. Yeah, just, we'll, that's we'll how figure I'm it out. Learn. If I keep learning in the fast, I'm no, no, not gonna you're learn. You're fine. Because I don't want people have a fundamental and baseline and technique. That's what we do every day. Bro. That. <laughs> We're doing it every day. That's believe it or on. not, He's believe gonna it or not. You did a lot better yeah. at that fast pace. You did? No, no. no he, 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 he thrives hard, so he got a strong mind. His biggest weakness is himself, and his biggest strength is himself. He got to find that balance. We're going to help him find it, but ultimately it comes from here. Thank you. Luke, great job, dude. Stop beating yourself up, dude. Okay? Yeah. Stop, stop. You're, you're beating yourself up for no fucking reason. You did great. You know, jokingly, I told him, I said, you don't take compliments very well. I said, you know, as your coaches, we're seeing the growth you know, day by day. And, you know, if not, it's like, if, if we were at a standstill, then it would be a problem, but we're actually seeing the growth, you know, from where you were two months ago and where you are today. You know how that's working? Yeah. Okay then, guy. So it's the process, shit. We're training him to win. We're training him to fight this guy. I know this means a lot to him, like, this fight, because compared to his last fight, like, 
you know, it's a, it's a big change. So I hope that's like, you know, changed his whole mindset about a lot of things. For him to walk out of there with that confidence and to walk out and not get stopped, you know, is gonna be a win for me. For him to walk out of that ring unscathed, chest high, that's another win, you know? And to ice it off is if the judges say, we won. Turn out of there! Turn out of there! Turn out of there, fools! Get out of there, Fuji! Tuck that chin, elbows, you block that shit. And turn, turn, turn! You're lucky he's not hitting you in the face. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Look back and you'll see, huh? That's what, that's what it takes to get to that, at that level at anything. You know, you gotta push through it. You can't get nowhere if you're not doing anything about it, you know? So he's gonna push through it. He's doing it right now, yeah. Keep it going, nah, that, I mean, the advice is just keep doing what he's doing. He's been doing a good job so far. Keep doing what he's doing. What I always tell everybody when I drill into him is hard work makes easy work. Meaning you put that hard work in right now, cry, blood, tears, fucking depression, getting over all of that shit right now, going through the hard work, sparring when you don't want to spar, sparring, you know, doing the things that we tell you not to do, I mean, that we tell you to do that you don't want to do. But going through all of that is gonna make it easy in the ring. So hard works makes easy work. Keep doing what you're doing, and we're gonna be victorious. For the fight, this one I just wanted a clear one. Definitely. That's perfect for the teeth for sparring. Keep in mind the mouthpiece, even if it has a design or no design, is still the same. It's still a custom fitted mouthpiece. It's gonna be the best mouthpiece that could fit in your mouth, and that's it. You're supposed to have no distractions for training camp, but the biggest distraction of my entire life just came to join camp. <laughs> like, y'all know what it is, man. I'm in this bitch. Dean the Great here, here at Jack Rabbit Boxing, training out here for fit for camp uh, for my fight in August 27th under the undercard with Fuzi. Been boxing out in Florida. I'm gonna set boundary lines with him. Like, yo, we ain't buddy buddy this shit. We ain't hanging out. Like, I, we train. Go live your life. Anybody worry about you, bro? Go ahead and get in the ice. There ain't nobody worried about me more than you. In the ice, <laughs> Super fat, depressed, didn't work out, woke up super late. He'd wake up at like two o'clock. I had to get him, like be like, when I'd be at his house, I'd be like, bro, get up, da da da. Oh, I'm coming, bro. I don't like when people tell me to get up. Uh, uh. Now this motherfucker's up earlier than me. Just get in? Hands, up. hands out, right? Oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, just go on, all at once, all at once. I'm not gonna sit here and act like this fight camp has been like sunshine and rainbows and happiness. This has been easily the hardest, most stressful, most frustrating experience of my entire life. I walk around pissed off every day. I walk around angry. I walk around in my head. I don't think about anything but the fight. Um, I'm walking around with injuries. My wrist feels damn near broken. My ribs are damn near protruding out my body, but the one thing I was reminded of the other day, no one's asking me to do this. No one's coming into my Airbnb out in Long Beach each morning and pulling me out of bed saying, get to the gym. I'm a grown man. The coaches can't tell me to come in here. The promoters can't tell me to come in here. So no matter how hard it's been and rough it's been, I'm still here every single day. And that shows me so much that tells me so much because if i didn't want to do something i don't do it especially at my age you can't get me to do something i don't want to do so the fact that i'm still doing this it speaks for itself Come on, buddy. maintain your composure maintain your posture block him block it get out hell no you better do it for get your fucking hands up guy hey he's not throwing to your fucking face doesn't mean to put your hands down guy Get out of there, get out of there, turn. Now get back in. Nice and relaxed. 
Go to the body, nice and relaxed. Drop it, drop it, you too, you drop. Why are you waiting on here, Fuji? You're bigger. Step, keep stepping. <laughs> nope, nope, block it. Wrap him up if you have to. Step, Fuji, step. Get out of there. Hey, wrap him up if you have to, Fuji. Step, step, step. Wrap him up, wrap him up, Fuji, wrap him up. Get out of there. Hey, do not turn your back. Keep fighting. We're not done with our training, guys. Welcome to camp, son. You need to fight back or fucking wrap his ass up if you have to. Wrap him up if you have to, Fuz. Control his elbows if you have to or move your fucking feet. Let's go, Fuzi. Get your hands up and maintain your posture. Keep your head up. Stand up. Never turn your back. Ever. I thought you said get out of there. No, no, no. I meant, I thought it meant you were no, done. No, no, get out no, of the room. My no, bad. No. Yeah, yeah. Turn. Hey, not this shit. Not this, here, and turning, catch it. If you have to, if you feel tired and you cannot throw, don't yeah. throw a shot. Grab his ass around the I've fucking elbows and hug. Then hug. hug. Give him a bit fucking bit. Okay, come here. Control my elbows. Okay? There it is. Okay, look at how I'm gonna do to you. I'm actually gonna go like this. Oh. Okay. Remember? Okay. Step. But look where the two take. Watch, I can do it right here, guys. How you do that so I'm touching it goes I, flying. I step, I step. Pop, pop, pop. Because I'm not I'm not going like this and then throwing, no. I'm going bam, 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 as if I'm stepping with it. So Big bang. Like yeah. You have to though, because in a fight you could get frustrated. Learn. You're learning right now. One. One, two. You're learning how to work through frustration. One. One, two. One. Take it off. <laughs> this is how you get six pack, fool. What you mean? Like that? Yeah. Is it actually? No. This one does it actually. This one. <laughs> you know, I get excited. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna have <laughs> All right. Next one, we're gonna go around the world. So we're gonna go boom. Open up the palm again. Good. Reach up over, above the head. I'm in line, just like that. Good. So now what you're gonna do is have your hand, left hand out in front of you, right hand behind your head. Uh -huh. Good. And then now you're just going to go um, straight line, elbow to elbow, boom, and then rotate out straight line. Yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. How you like it? I like it. Good. All, Good. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this is like movement prep stuff. Okay. You'll kind of use it as a warm up. Some of these movements you might even want to include into a circuit training. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So I'll throw that in some of some probably in like a circuit or some okay. or like You'll be jumping in, exercise to exercise, and then one of the movements would be one of these. So I wanted to make sure you go over the rotational stuff uh -huh. because I think that's going to be very key before you go into your boxing um, movements. I like it. Because I was getting my ass beat in the ring today, uh -huh. and I look out and Ashley's just staring like this. I know you have to. And I'm frustrated on dying, and I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> No, I had to prove a point to your dad because he was like, because he did that bamboo stick, and I've been complaining yeah. ever since because it got deformed. I really don't want to do this, but... Five seconds, come on, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Fuck, poor bitch! Cut! Fuck! That's one, two, three, four. Here we go. Check this mind over matter right here, bro. Ready? First of all, look at fucking Fousey, dude. He looks like a reptile. That is so ripped. <laughs> look at me, buddy. Oh, fuck, I'm broke up. And it hit my elbow on the last one, and I'm fucked. I can't move my arm. So then he was like, oh, we got to get your abs right. I was like, what you mean? He goes, you got to know how to take a body punch. I go, I do. He goes, nah, you back up when you take it. So today I was like, all right, I'll show you. I don't know how to block it, but I could take it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm fighting a YouTuber by the name of Deji, aka KSI's little brother, aka the 0 and 3 YouTube boxer. And you know, this goes back. He pointed me out and he said, if I wanted an easy fight, I'd fight you, Fusi. You're an easy fight. So I want him to show the world how I'm an easy fight. 
And I want to give him the hardest fight he's ever had in his fucking world. Especially if he wants this win, I want him to show us why he wants this win and why I'm an easy fight. Yo, bro, you good? What's going on? The thing about this journey, especially committing it to it so hard, it's like there's gonna be bad days. And you still work through the bad days, but it's like the, the training camp is not meant to be like all rosy and fun. It's like it's the good, the bad, the ugly. And especially since me and you grind so much outside of just training camp, and it's like everything is on the shoulders. It's just sometimes it just gets hard and you just need to regroup. Um, like if it's going to take me an hour of just sitting down till I get up, because I, I already told one of my coaches I'm not going in for strength and conditioning, but mm -hmm. I know there's no way I have it in me to stay in here all day. So I know I give myself one hour to feel sorry for myself, feel stressed, feel agitated. And after that hour, I'm back up and I'm going. So just need that moment, need that breather. Yeah. No, August 27th, it'll all be worth it. Every single second of this bullshit. I play this fight in my head every single day, multiple times a day. And I, I, I see a dog fight. Um, and I think it's all gonna go down to my composure the night of the fight. Two, one, go! Come on, every time! What I expect to happen the fear side of me tells me he's gonna come out swinging, he's gonna come out technical, and I'm gonna be caught with shots and it's gonna be overwhelming. But the reality side of me tells me, as soon as he starts throwing and I see his punches, cause I'm, I'm training with, you know, professionals in the ring here. Deji's no professional. So when his punches come at me and I see them and I see that, I'm able to slip that. I'm able to slip that. Or even when I feel his punch, that didn't hurt. Once I get that switch inside me to know he's nothing, I think I'm gonna walk through him. This is gonna help you with your hips. Let's go! Run, run, run! Come on, he's here! Pick that shit up! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, pick it up! Yeah. Oh, God, oh my god, he's actually trying to take off! Okay. Come on, man. Situations. Our, our job is to make it so hard for you that the fight is easy. The <laughs> fight is easy. Who the fuck is this at the door? <laughs> hey, oh. it's family too. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Okay, man, this is a, what is that? And I'm not gonna lie, when I watched the footage of, of yesterday, mm -hmm. I just know the guy I'm seeing in that footage. And I, I like I've seen Deji. Deji's better than the guy I'm seeing in the footage. The awkwardness, the fluidity, the proper jabs. It's like you, you know, um, it, it's good to to have high expectations, like to push yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm looking at the accomplishments. Yeah. Those li li like I tell you, those little micro steps forward. You know, it's like those those are all gains for me. Yeah. Knowing that there's a time crunch, knowing that like come August, it's like whether I got it or not, it's you're gonna have it. You're, you're gonna have it, but you have to trust trust yourself. Yeah. And not not think uh, like, hey, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because you're not. Yeah. You're, you're you're growing every yeah. day. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. 
Feel that too. Feel that too. Sound them. Sound them. Sound them, fool. Sound them, baby. Sound them. Breathing, 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 baby. <laughs> Somebody's going to sleep. What's up, motherfucker, man? I don't even know his name. My coach doesn't even know my problem. I don't even know his name. Triple Z. I know he, he's going he's to I know he's going to bed. That's all I know. And this is good to know because the crowd's gonna be watching, all the celebrities are gonna watch Ambers and watching. Whenever Ivan specifically is watching me or holding mids, my heartbeat increases and I get more, like you said yesterday, you said I'm too. Yeah. That happens. That like anxiety. when we were throwing before you, it felt good and thing. As soon as you come in, it's like the anxiety, yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna shake that off. The breathing, you relaxing in between punches, breathing, then naturally relax and focus on, on your punches. Okay. Okay. There's nothing bigger in my career and my entire life right now than this fight. The world knows I've changed. The world's seen my sobriety. The world knows who I am. There is nothing that would put a stamp on me, my message, my image, my name more so than a victory and a W on August 27th. Going to go down in history and never be forgotten. My name is cemented in YouTube history. It is goaded. I'll retire Deji. I will take out Deji out of the UK conversation, the US conversation. And most importantly, I show everybody that this new version of me, he means what he says. He's here to stay and he's not fucking around. There's nothing bigger to me than this fight. Yeah, yesterday I was supposed to take you by day making adjustments. Yeah. So, as you know, I'm in Long Beach now for training camp. And the other day I was on Postmates and I ordered from this spot. And I was like, oh, it's good. Come to find out the spot's right next to the gym. So here we are with Manny, owner of Mexicana's Hibata. Uh, Apache girl. I'm so tired. I know, bro. I can see it. <laughs> At Mexicana Sabacha Grill in Long Beach, and they are going to take care of my eating plan, my meal plan, and get me right for the fight. Right. Every day I get to select my protein options, my carb options, and the best part about it is it fits within the way I eat because I only use butter to get my rice ready. I don't use oil, and they take care of that here. So the meal that we just made right now was a super duper portion of chicken, a super duper portion of fried rice with veggies under it. But yeah, we have our options of chicken, steak, shrimp, salmon, we're good. And they're gonna take care of me. So if you're wondering what I ate, you're seeing it right here and you're gonna see it every day. I'm eating this every single day leading up to the fight. Eat, getting fit, being lean, it don't have to be like what you think like Oh, greens and little portions of chicken and everything. That's a huge portion. That's a delicious portion and I'm still allowed to eat it and it's still good for me. So, appreciate you. No problem, brother. Anytime. Especially by the time it comes out, people are gonna have, yeah. Um, You know, granted I'm in training camp, so I'm physically exhausting myself. I'm in severe stomach pain. My bowel movements are horrible. Everything in my stomach is horrible. I'm just, I'm frustrated and I'm angry with everything. It's like I'm just holding on to so much fucking anger. And if it's not one thing I'm angry at, I'll find another thing to be angry at. Whether I'm replying to a friend that text or just talking to my cameraman, I'm like, there's anger there. There's. But I know why there's anger though. All that you have, that's good, what you're dealing with right now. Do you really think that this training is easy on you? Why do you think people do meditation daily? 
Because when your physical form is going through so much, your spiritual form helps it. You need to be rejuvenated. You need to be balanced out. You have so much to offer, so much to do. Because you do have a beautiful energy. You and do have a beautiful energy. that's what sucks about all of it. I know I do. I know. I see it all the time and everything. But right now, it's just, I'm just over everything. But I promise you, we're going to fight through this. This is your journey. I release it. Say it again. I release it. Say it like that. And now release. All right, ready? I want you to focus on all of that negative. I want you to focus on all that dark. Ah! Now I want you to feel the white light. And I want you to say, I am love. I am powerful. I have peace. I have protection. No one shall harm me. No one shall affect me. I am me. Now take a deep breath in. And now release. You will fight it. You are strong. Say it. I'm strong. I am brave. I am brave. I am one. I am one. Now scream. Sure. Too much. It's too much. Okay? And we got this. You got this. You got
record me. Alright. What I'm gonna record? What you gonna do? That's fine. Let's do our thing. Let's do our war.
Yeah, right. 